respected chair. So, uh, chair is somewhere, I think. But, um, are you cheering or is Ron cheering? Uh, <laughs> I'm cheering. Uh, I, I'm, Jeff is cheering. I'm Dr. Jeff. Oh, Griffiths. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Maybe you're being less formal. I don't know. Yes. <laughs> uh, Mission Director, USAID Nepal, Dr. Beth. Distinguished delegates, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, I my apology to the floor due to important meeting with my honorable minister. I could not attend at the time, but uh, anyway, I, I could manage to come here. Uh, thank you very much for inviting me in this August gathering. It's my great pleasure to be here with you in this annual Innovative Innovation Lab Council Partners Workshop in Kathmandu. First of all, I would like to welcome all of you to Kathmandu uh, for attending this workshop. As I was also given a task to welcome all distinguished delegates from the organizer, on behalf of the Ministry of Agriculture Development and on my own self, I'd like to welcome all of you. 870 million people across the world are undernourished and most of them are in South Asian countries. As the agriculture still remains the mainstay of livelihood and sources of income and powerful instrument to reduce the vicious circle of poverty in majority of majority people in South Asia region, such an important sector is facing enormous challenges from emerging threats in new dimensions, resulting low productivity and less competitive. The agriculture productivity can only be increased with scaling up scientific innovation and technology by research and development program. Therefore, we need to identify pathways through which we can address our problems in nutritional issues and challenges in agriculture. The issue of nutrition is a complex and multi-sectoral. Needs, it needs wider collaboration and partnership from public, private sector, and civil society to design country-specific intervention. At the meantime, we need evidence-based information, underlying causes, and appropriate tools to dig out the real problem. The enhancement of national capacity of the institutions working in this area is very much crucial for achieving the result in desired level. I think the concept of Nutrition Innovation Lab Nepal is a good initiative and future collaboration with Nepalese institutions would be an instrumental in linking agriculture and nutrition in order to address our development challenges in the agriculture sector. I would like to take this opportunity to brief about a couple of initiatives taken by the government of Nepal to address the policy issues in nutrition and overall agriculture sector in Nepal. Government of Nepal has implemented the multi-sectoral nutrition plan since last year and also committed to implement agriculture development strategy, popularly known as ADS, a long-term vision in agriculture and food and nutrition security plan from this year to address the issues of nutrition and agriculture sector. We need some strategic invention, intervention, design and integrated approach to address this complex issue. I believe this platform provides a good opportunities for sharing and exchanging in rich experiences and extensive knowledge of different experts and scientists from various countries. I am very much confident that productive discussion and deliberations from this event would derive a concrete and pragmatic pathways to address the issues of nutrition and key research questions in the area of nutrition and agriculture in innovations. Before concluding my remarks, I once again welcome all you distinguished delegates and wish a successful conclusion of this workshop. Thank you. Thank you very much. To learn more, please visit agrilinks.org and feedthefuture.gov.